Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Irissa and I'm so happy that you clicked to watch this video. So I am literally so, so excited for today's video because I am going to be unboxing my Kylie Skin package and I'm going to be showing you guys all the products that I bought. I'm literally so excited to open up my package and see how everything is because I did receive it about a week ago but today is just when I have the time to actually sit down and film. So let's just go ahead and hop right into this video. I'm just going to begin by opening up my package and shipping was very fast honestly I ordered it on Wednesday because that's when it launched and the package got to my house on Friday but today is just when I actually have the time to like sit here and open it with you guys I'm literally so excited okay oh my gosh this is how it looks how beautiful so the top of the box does say Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner. So it does come with a little card with Kylie. And on the back it says Kylie Skin. Hope you guys love your Kylie Skin products. This is just the beginning XO Kylie. So this is how the front looks with gorgeous Kylie on it. She looks amazing. And this is what the back of the card looks like. It's kind of hard to see because of my ring light. So the glare is like making it hard to show up on camera. But that is how it looks like. It's a very nice simple card. And I did purchase the whole entire collection. So the products actually look a lot bigger in person than they do like on Instagram and stuff. But that's how the box looks like. Let me go ahead and take it out. So this is how the box looks. It's so so gorgeous um so not only did i purchase this full set i also did purchase her makeup wipes and i kind of figured this would happen but i don't see them in the package at all maybe they could be in here but i doubt it um i kind of figured that this would happen because i have experienced this problem with kylie cosmetics before where i like purchased the whole collection and then my mom will want like just the eyeshadow palette or something so i'll also add that to my cart and most times it's just the entire collection and her palette or whatever else i bought is missing but as soon as i contact them they always send me whatever was missing in my package so I guess I'm just going to have to do that. But I'm so sad that they weren't included in here because I really did want to take off my makeup with you guys so that way we could see how well the wipes work and everything. But I'm still super excited to use all these products with you guys. And I'll just have to resort to my usual makeup wipes that I always use. So I am checking inside the box to see if the wipes were in there. And they're not. It's just... A plastic with all of the products in it these products look so much bigger in person like I'm shocked okay so I am just gonna start off by taking off my makeup I'm pretty bummed that my makeup removing whites whites wipes weren't in my package um, I was like so excited to use everything but since I am so excited to use these products like I don't even feel upset at all but okay I'm just gonna go ahead and take off my makeup and I'll see you guys when I'm ready to do step one of Kylie's skincare line okay so I just finished taking off my makeup and I am gonna use every single product in the same order that Kylie Jenner uses them so I watched her skincare routine video that she put up where she used all the products and in that video she showed the order and how she uses the products and everything like that so I am gonna try my best to use them the same way that she does because I feel like that's just the way she set up these products to be so the first product that I'm going to be using is the foaming face wash and I'm so excited to use this because whenever I've seen it on social media it literally looks like so foamy and nice to just put on your skin so I do have some water here and I'm just gonna go ahead and dampen up my face and then we'll start off with the face wash okay so now that my face is very very wet let's go ahead and get out this product I'm gonna go ahead and take like a pump and a half I guess 
So this is how it looks like on my hand. Okay, so it does feel very soft. Oh my gosh. It literally glides onto my skin like so softly. Like it just feels so nice and relaxing. The product also doesn't have a strong scent to it at all. It just smells like soap in my opinion. I don't think it's like um, too overpowering or anything. And I actually thought I was going to have to go ahead and get some more of the soap on my hands. But it's actually covering up my face pretty good. I can't believe how amazing this feels on my skin. I like don't want to stop using it. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty much done massaging that into my face and now I'm just taking it off with a damp towel. And honestly, I really did love this face wash. Like I found it so relaxing to wash my face with it. And some of my excess makeup did come off while I was washing my face with it. The pump to this product is also really, really nice. Like I feel like the product also feels very heavy and like good quality. I also want to read you guys a little bit of what it says on the back of the foaming face wash. So it says our luxurious foaming face wash is infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity. So to me, this does feel very luxuriating and foaming. As you guys saw when I put it on my hands, like it just glides right on, it glides right onto your face. So to me, that does give it a very luxurious feel, as well as the packaging itself. I mean, I've never used like high-end skincare, so I wouldn't really know what to even compare it to. But to me, this feels way better than like the stuff that I buy at Walmart and stuff like that. But now we're going to go ahead and move on to step number two, which is the Walnut Face Scrub. So I'm also excited to use this product because I love exfoliators. It also does come with a little seal that you peel off. Now before I apply the product to my face, I'm going to go ahead and dampen my face again with some water. So let's see how this exfoliator looks. I'm just going to apply a small amount to my hand. That's kind of not even a small amount, but this is how it looks like. And I'm very curious to see how it feels like when I rub it out because it is supposed to be very gentle. And I remember in a video she said it's not abrasive at all. So let's go ahead and put this onto my skin. First I want to smell it. Okay, so it doesn't have a strong odor at all. Like it's pretty, um, it's pretty scentless I guess you could say. So as I'm rubbing it onto my face, I do feel very small like grains, but they don't feel too rough at all. They just feel like very, very tiny like micro beads or something. So I'm just gently rubbing it into my skin. So instead of it feeling like micro beads, I finally thought of like the right way to explain it. So it basically feels like thin sugar or something that I'm just rubbing on my face, like a lip scrub or something like that. But this feels very much smoother and thinner than like a lip scrub would feel, would feel like. So I do think it feels very nice on my skin. I don't think it feels like too rough or abrasive or anything. I know a lot of people were concerned about that, but to me, I don't find it to be harmful at all to my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and get in a little bit closer just so you guys can see how this looks like on my face. So as you can see, like you can barely even see the texture of it or anything like it's not thick at all this is a very thin exfoliator and now i'm just gonna go ahead and take it off with a damp towel the same way i did with the face wash i just finished taking off all of the exfoliator off my face and it honestly left my face feeling so nice and smooth i don't know if you guys can see how glowy it really did leave me 
So I did really enjoy this exfoliator and I will definitely be using this a few times a week. I also did want to mention that even though these products smell very natural and to their ingredients, like they don't really have a fragrance, I feel like I smell so nice and clean, if you get what I mean. But yeah, I really did enjoy those first two products. Now we are moving on to step number three, which is the vanilla milk toner. And I am so, so excited to try this out. Like the name itself, vanilla milk, just seems so like yummy, if that makes sense. And I can't wait to smell this product. So I do have my little cotton round here. Mm, okay, so it didn't have like a little seal. I opened it up to check. But this smells amazing. Like it's literally what I just pictured it to be. I'm so excited to just put this all over my face. Okay, so I am just going to take a small amount or maybe not so small because I want a lot of this. Let's go ahead and apply this to my skin. So I was wearing makeup before this as you guys can see and I do feel like the face wash and the exfoliator cleaned my skin nicely but let's just go ahead and see if there was any makeup left on my face to remove or like dirt or anything. This feels so so nice. So just as I expected there wasn't much to take off of my face like my face wasn't left dirty or anything after using the face wash and the exfoliator but I did definitely love this product like it felt so nice and smooth on my face and it smells delicious but step number four is the vitamin C serum which is another product that I'm so excited to use the pump to this product is also very nice and this bottle itself like feels like a really nice glass material or something like that but let's go ahead and put this on my face now. So I'm going to go ahead and take about like two pumps. I believe in Kylie's video she did apply two pumps, but she says you really only need one. So this is how the serum looks like. Usually I picture serums to be like very oily and they're usually like in those little droppers. But I do actually prefer this kind of serum because sometimes I don't really like oils like on my face if that makes sense. Like I feel like I'm putting oil on my face. Um, so I really do enjoy this one. It also, it doesn't really have a scent to it either this one. It just smells like it's natural ingredients. Oh my gosh, but my face already feels so hydrated after applying this serum. I'm also going to put some on my neck. And what I usually do is I just go ahead and tap my face just to make sure like all the product seeps into my skin. I just finished applying it to my face and the serum is very new to me. I have probably two but I never really use them so I don't really have many serums to compare this one to but I do really love how it made my skin feel and look like I just feel like as I keep on adding products my skin just gets glowier and glowier and on the back it does say our vitamin C serum is packed with powerful ingredients that penetrate the skin to help brighten, reduce redness, stimulate collagen, and help improve overall skin health. So I'm so excited for that because I do have redness like on my cheek area and my nose. So I feel like I do need a lot of help with that. So I'm excited to actually use all of these products more often in my skincare routine to see the results and how well my skin looks afterwards. Now we are finally on to the fifth step which is the face moisturizer and this is probably my favorite step in skincare routines in general. Like I love hydrating my skin because as you guys know I do have very dry skin so moisturizers just revive my skin so much. Let's go ahead and apply this moisturizer. So since I do have very dry skin, and that's how much one pump gives out, I feel like that's a good amount. I'm going to go ahead and do a pump and a half. Um, 
since I do have dry skin and I really love to put this all over my face and what I usually do is I like evenly put my moisturizer on my face just like that I know it looks funny but that's just how I do it and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit on my neck just so I won't forget to save some for my neck and then I just rub it all into my skin this product also doesn't really have a scent and just like with the serum I do go ahead and pat it into my skin my skin feels so nice and hydrated now um, and to me this moisturizer is a very good consistency like it's not too thick but it's also not very thin, which I do enjoy. Now we are on to the last and final step, which is step six. And again, I am very excited to try this one out because to try out the applicator, I have never ever seen an eye cream with an applicator just like this. So I think that's pretty interesting and I'm excited to see how it works. So let's go ahead and apply this to my eyes. So this is how it looks like when it's coming out of the packaging and I'm just going to start applying it to my eyes. I am also so happy to finally have an eye cream because I do struggle with puffiness. Like some mornings I will wake up and I will just have like very puffy eyes. So I feel like this will help me a lot. I'm also going to go ahead and put some up here. I honestly wasn't too sure how this applicator would work or feel. Like I thought I wasn't going to really know how to use it, but it's actually working just fine. The only thing that I will do is go ahead and use my ring finger to like pat it in all the way because I feel like it's still just sitting on top of my skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and pat it into under my eye. As I pat this in, I'm just now remembering about like Kylie's launch party and everything for her skincare line and didn't it look amazing? Like that party just looked so awesome. But anyways, I'm all done applying the eye cream and that was the last and final step. So again, here are all of the products. I loved them all so, so much. I honestly wasn't sure how I was going to like some of them. Like I really thought the toner was just going to be my absolute favorite. But I really do like all of them. And I know with skincare, like you do have to give it a good week or two to like actually know how it's going to leave your skin. So... Um, unfortunately, I can't tell you guys how these products will affect me in the future, whether it's good or bad. But I do know after using them today, I feel like my skin feels so nice and revived. I definitely am going to be incorporating all these products into my skincare routine. And I do plan on using them daily. I absolutely loved Kylie's first skincare launch. And I'm so excited to see what she puts out in the future. Like the only thing I wish was in this collection was like a face spray. Because I love face sprays. But I'm pretty sure like she will come out with one in the future. And also if you're interested in receiving this collection, it is $125. And I do believe that they're going to have a restock. So let me go ahead and get that information for you guys. Okay, so they do have two restock dates. The first one is June 5th and they are going to be restocking the whole entire set. And June 10th, they will restock all the individual items. That way you could buy stuff separately in case you just want one thing or like a few things. So also if you guys are contemplating on buying anything from Kylie Skin, I just wanted to share with you guys my personal favorites even though I did enjoy everything in this collection. But the first product that I would definitely have to recommend is the Vanilla Milk Toner. This stuff smells amazing. As I already said, you guys saw me use it. I did really enjoy this product. And I feel like this is probably the thing that I'm going to be using the most because I do use toners like morning and night all the time. Even halfway through the day, I'll probably like just use a toner if I feel like my skin is like dirty or something. So I literally am so excited to continue using this. 
And the second item that I'd have to recommend is the foaming face wash. Just because I feel like it is a classic, like Kylie herself loves it so much and I do too. I also wanted to mention that I have not watched anybody else review the skincare line just because I wanted to like know my thoughts and everything first before I watch those videos but I'm definitely gonna go check out other people's videos to see what they think of this collection but anyways I do feel like the foaming and everything in this face wash is luxurious just like it says on the back of the packaging I also do feel like it really did clean my skin because as you guys saw by the time I used the toner like there wasn't really much to clean off of my skin and I was wearing makeup at the beginning of this video and this product did leave my face smelling like so nice and fresh and clean so I do highly recommend this and one more detail to add is that the packaging to all these products feels so nice um, I wasn't expecting them to feel as nice as they do but they do feel really nice and for the price point like I feel like you can't go wrong you know so yeah I just thought that I'd let you guys know what products that I really enjoyed and which ones I think you should pick up in case you don't want to buy the whole entire collection. Okay, so that is everything I have to share with you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had such a fun time using all of these products. If you guys also got some items from Kylie's skin, go ahead and comment down below what you got and how you liked them. I'm really interested to know everybody else's thoughts on this collection. But I think that's basically everything that I have to tell you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. But with all that said, I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye!